is safe, it is clean, and it's very diverse. People don't realize that. People think that there are only Swedes, and they don't realize that there are also Norwegians. USA. Uh, they're Irish as well as German. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's um, a place with a great deal of uh, involvement in the arts, and I think that's one of the things that's kept me here. There are dozens of theater companies, uh, choral societies. It's the only place in America with two full-time professional orchestras, and of course a great uh, run of Broadway hits that come here. I do like the Twin Cities very much culturally. I'm very tied to the arts. I see a lot of theater, performance. I lived in a lot of places, and I've never lived in a place and made my entire living as an actress, and I have here. We also know, coming from where I come from, that uh, the largest and the strongest base of support of art, whether it's in schools, small theaters, larger institutions, the larger that base is, the healthier that community is intellectually and in its own development. We can take walks, we can go to the lake. We're about five minutes walk from Lake Harriet, and it's the best place I've ever lived, and I've been a lot of places. You know, having the lakes, you can go biking, you can, you can be right out of the city, and suddenly you can just be, you know, going to the beach. There's tons of bike paths. I'm a biking maniac. What I find uniquely delightful about the Twin Cities is the ability to, uh, for instance, get in your canoe right across the street here, uh, paddle a ways under the bridge and out toward the islands, and while you're looking at the egrets uh, perching in the bushes, you can see the IDS tower in the background. Certainly Philip Johnson's IDS building uh, was a remarkable uh, new concept for interior central space in a city. Johnson has done many fine buildings, but I think this is by far the, the most significant thing that he did. A lot of places to go for people, downtown, late night. There's a lot of life in this city. <laughs> Good jazz town, surprisingly, more so than people might think. You know, I mean, if, when you think of the great jazz cities of America, Minneapolis, St. Paul probably doesn't one of the first ones that leaps to your mind. But um, there's an awful lot here. Well, this is a, this is a good place for performance. Um, I don't know a lot of other places where you can find a lot of varied piano work. I think a lot of it is, is the community leadership. Um, if foundations are willing to, to support art projects and the institutions um, that support artists, I think the people in the community see that and they, they follow that. It sets an example that um, innovative art making is okay and it's interesting and should be supported It's for the public good. I moved here about seven years ago and I found that the arts community, the, uh, there was a real support structure here. People work together. One that I see a lot going on here is artists in different communities working um, with community members, with, with children in neighborhoods, with schools. There's a, a great sense of community here and neighborhood. We just went through an, uh, a wonderful neighborhood experience where we all came together for a common cause. The business community is always involved in, in the affairs of, of, of the city and that's kind of a neat feeling. I like that. Uh, if you don't have a vibrant downtown, you don't have a town at all and it seems like whenever they really need to pull together to make something happen, the business community and the city leadership always figure out a way to make it happen. So. People here are much friendly, you know, um, I mean, here you're living in a city, you know, you have people who live in the city, but, you know, they don't have that big city attitude or something. The cost of living is reasonable. The, uh, it's, it's like a large, small town, kind of, you can get around easy. I like it because everyone seems very honest here, uh, it's very laid back, um, 
very comfortable. It once called a sort of garden of architecture because we had a kind of major building by uh, every prominent architect <laughs> that's working in America in the last 10 years. The old Fauché Tower was pretty much prominent. And that you barely can even find anymore. So, uh, so the skyline has changed. Uh, more than that, though, I think the, uh, the quality of architecture has really improved enormously. Well, I think there's a great deal of respect for the subject of architecture. I think that people truly value what it is we build and to see it as integral to the quality of life that we have here. I used to always take uh, architectural visitors to Summit Avenue and you have to approach it from the east. You have to go to the, uh, the Capitol, to the uh, Cathedral, and on down to the Mississippi River. Uh, that's the way to do it. It's a diverse uh, contrast of uh, architecture, which we really like, uh, the old and the new. The Stone Arch Bridge. People have got to go and run or walk across the Stone Arch Bridge, uh, an 1881 civil engineering landmark that was opened just this last fall to pedestrian and bike traffic only. You can get out and see St. Anthony Falls and really experience the river. You can feel the spray of the Mississippi River. The theme for the 96th convention in Minnesota is value. Value we will deliver, but much more. Please come join us and find out what we here in Minnesota value.